video is DIY. Today I'm going to make a rotisserie chicken noodle soup with roasted vegetables. Okay, this is a super quick soup that you can put together um, and you can choose to do as much in depth as you want to or as little. So you start with a rotisserie chicken you get from your local grocery store. Um, they just have a better depth of flavor to me uh, than, you know, boiled chicken. I actually never liked chicken noodle soup as a kid because I didn't like that, you know, tough kind of tasteless chicken that used to be in it. So this is how I learned to love chicken noodle soup. Um, so get a whole rotisserie chicken and take all of the meat off and use about half of it. Put the rest of it in the fridge to use for a different dish. Um, and then I use whatever roasted vegetables I already happen to have. Um, so we roast vegetables um, multiple times through the week. So in today I have carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower that I have um, roasted and then chopped up into smaller pieces. So this is a great um, soup that you can utilize leftovers and give them a new life. Um, and then my secret weapon to making a delicious chicken noodle soup um, is the seasoning. Mrs. Miller's soup base. This is delicious. I get it from a local uh, small business, but you can get it online and I'll link it in the blog post um, and in the video below or in the description below. Um, and it just adds a richness to the flavor. And then the last thing that I do is I use a little bit of ground rosemary um, because I think it just gives a warm, um, you know, flavor profile to this soup. And it's snowy outside, it's cold, so it is a perfect day to make some chicken noodle soup. Okay, so let's start with making the chicken stock using our soup base. I've got four cups of hot water. And this I use, um, so two tablespoons. plus two teaspoons. Now the nice thing about this chicken stock is, is that if you don't have time to do all this and you just wanna open a can of chicken noodle soup, you can just sprinkle a little bit of this soup base on it and you will have a much more flavorful bowl of chicken noodle soup. Okay, let's get that in the pot. Okay. So we've got our four cups of chicken stock. Now I will add more water to this. And we're gonna add half of our rotisserie chicken, chopped up. Lots and lots of roasted veggies. And about, um, almost two cups of noodles. I'm going to add a little bit more water. So that's about six cups of water. But that really depends on how much roasted veggies I have for that week. How much extra water I put in. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit with that ground rosemary on it. It's about a teaspoon. Give that a stir. Okay, now really the only part that actually has to cook is your noodles. Um, so I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer um, on low for at least an hour and then we'll come back and check it.
Okay, so I've let the soup simmer about an hour on low and the noodles are all nice and soft and the flavors have had a chance to blend together. So when you're checking the soup after it's been simmering for a little while, test the spices in it and see if it needs a little bit more. I added about a teaspoon more um, to this pot just because of how you know I like it to taste. <clears throat> but it's easier to add a little bit than take some out. That's a pain, so don't do that. Okay, I got my little dish here. This is perfect on this cold, snowy day. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. That rosemary just pops. That, um, that chicken soup base just makes all the difference because it makes it so much more rich. Um, you know, you've got a lot of body in this soup. So this soup should stay good in the fridge about three or four days. Um, and then in the freezer up to three months. So what I do is that I freeze the soup in like two person serving for my husband and I. Um, and the very first day that I make it, I go ahead and put it in a freezer container, like in a glass bowl um, with a silicone lid and freeze it right away. So, th and then I always put a little sticky note on top that tells me what it is and um, when I put it in. And that helps a lot. Cause you know when things are in the freezer, they get frozen in a big glob and then you look at it and you can't remember what it is. Um, so this way I know exactly what it is and I can pull it out and defrost it that day and have it for dinner that night. So I hope you try it, I hope you like it. Um, you know, you can substitute any roasted veggie that you like. You'll notice I didn't put celery in there cause I don't like celery. But if you like it in your chicken noodle soup, then go ahead and add it, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, if you like this video, click uh, the subscribe button and you'll get notified whenever I put out a new one and like and share it. Thanks so much.